Well, hello, it's Dave here, and it's uh, June the 6th. Now, the thing is, as you know, I've been messing about with solar, and uh, yeah, today is a funny day, let me show you. Somewhere up there is the sun. It is forecast today to be cloudy all day, and my little oil powers is resting down there. The fridge, the Alpi Cool, is sitting there, and there's the uh, Eco Flow. I'm not using the Delta Two at the minute. Now, of course, what we want to know is: is it worthwhile putting the oil powers out? Um, let's go and have a a try, shall we, and see whether the 400 watt unit can actually get decent amounts of charge into the battery to keep it going for longer. Let's have a look. Just need to connect it up now. I'll do that and come back to you. While I remember and before I forget, you will see here, there's an extension lead that I've put on. This is a six meter job. So it means we can put the oil powers wherever and hopefully have enough lead to be able to get where it needs to go. It's very thick stuff, um, and uh, but it does seem to be somewhat coily. Does anybody know of a lead that's got a bit more flexibility to it so that it's a bit limper and will lie better and won't, you know, interfere with uh, current and stuff like that? If you do, down below please leave us a comment and a link and stuff like that and then I can have a see. Thank you. Well there it is, it's plugged in and as you can see at the moment, just here, we're getting 61 watts of input from a completely, totally and utterly overcast sky. Now, it's telling us it'll take 8 hours to recharge and to be honest, if it's, we're going to get the same amount of light all day, we'll have 8 hours before it goes even close to dark because that's the beauty about cloud it gathers all the light and just sprays it off in all directions so as you can see by the center console 66 percent is where we're at so it's used roughly a third overnight from when we uh, stopped at charging yesterday so aye this could be okay the thing of course is this beauty running the, the fridge as it is and um, we know now roughly how much it's going to take as a refrigerator what I've yet to do is to test it properly out as a freezer um, but at the moment it's being used for holding the booze the beer and what have you for here underneath our pergola um, because it's like camping without going camping because we kind of get away all the time so yes it looks as though there's going to be enough coming in from a cloudy overcast day like today with the 400 watt all powers panel to be able to keep the fridge running so you don't have to have a super sunny day and the thing about it is if it's chilly and overcast like this then it doesn't take as much power to run the fridge and that works out I think quite nicely so we, we seem to be settled at around about 63 watts at the minute. That's what it's showing. So, yeah. Let's see how that goes. And I'll come back and report back at the end of the day. We'll see. Uh, where are we time-wise? Looks nearly 11 o'clock. Um, so I'll come back and tell you later on um, how much, if any, it's taken on in charge. Um, as well as how well, you know, because of how the fridge is running. Because we know the fridge is going to take around about 40 to 50 watts when it actually kicks in. But it hasn't kicked in for donkey's ages at the minute. And it is switched on. So we'll see. See whether it's worthwhile putting it up when we've got an overcast day. I'll come back here in a bit. Well, here we are. At, what is it? A minute past five and... As you can see, cloud. Nothing but cloud. At this time of day, 
the sun's over there somewhere. So let's go and have a look and see how we're doing, shall we? Oh, as you can see, not exactly had a lot of sun on us. So here we are. And that is what we're going to look at. Let's get closer. And there we go. Six hours. And it's at 99 and still running. And as you can see, still getting some input. 40 watts, it's not even pointed at the sun. That's amazing. Absolutely amazing. So I think it's fair to say that this uh, all powers 400 watt solar panel connected up onto the Eco Flow Delta Max 2K is a damn good idea. Even on a clouded day like this, while it's running the fridge, it's managed to recharge itself. I had not seen that coming, I've got to be honest. I'm even more impressed than I was before, and I was impressed enough to start with. I think that's excellent. Do you not? So, even on this kind of horrible, overcast, nasty, cloudy day, when it's not all that warm either, we can still get charge into the battery. That's amazing. Right, I hope you found that useful. I know it's not very long, but I hope you found it useful. If you had, give it one of them. Subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a comment down below, and we'll catch you in the next one. But until then, enjoy the roads. Enjoy the skies, if they're not cloudy, but most of all, enjoy your lives. See you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.